knee joint is made up of three bones that work together like a hinge. Just like that. They are cushioned by two C-shaped pieces of cartilage called the meniscus. They are also connected by ligaments that help the leg bend up and down and stabilize the joint from side to side movements. Because they absorb the impact of walking, bending, jumping, and running, knees are especially prone to injury. You may develop bursitis, which is an inflammation of the sac of fluid around the knee that cushions your joint. Tendonitis is also common, and it can occur when the tendons attaching your leg muscles to the knee get irritated or inflamed. Particularly if you play a sport that involves sudden changes in direction like soccer or basketball, you may be at risk of injuring or tearing your anterior cruciate ligament or your ACL. And if you twist your knee, you may end up with a torn meniscus. In addition to injury, many people also develop arthritis in the knee joint. In fact, about one half of us will develop knee osteoarthritis by age 85, according to the CDC. This is often due to normal wear and tear, which causes the knee cartilage to erode over the years. It can also be caused or aggravated by being overweight or not getting enough regular exercise. If you have pain in your knees, resist the urge to push through it. Stop doing the activity causing the pain and use ice, compression, and elevation to reduce swelling. Using a pain relief cream or gel can also help, or take an over-the-counter pain reliever like acetaminophen, naproxen, or ibuprofen. Low-impact non-weight-bearing exercises like swimming or yoga can help you recover from an injury and maintain your joint health. But if the pain continues for more than two weeks or if it's becoming unbearable, see your primary care physician. If you experience knee pain, take steps to take care of yourself. There are options out there that can help you find relief.